Hello, this is Pali Kalash. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the second geometrical tolerance which is flatness and a form control. So here we have an example of a path with dimension and tolerance. Since I have not applied any geometrical tolerance, rule 1 is applied. So after manufacturing you can end up with a path like this. The peak to valley difference is nothing but the flatness error. In this case, it should not exceed 0 0.2, which is the dimensional tolerance. If you want a refined flat surface, then what you are going to get out of rule 1, then we have to apply flatness. Uh, similar to straightness, flatness can be applied to the surface or it can be applied to a center plane also. So first we will see how to apply flatness to a surface and then about controlling the center plane. So here, the linear line must be pointing onto the surface which we want to control. Then put a feature control frame, flatness symbol and value. Here again, this geometrical tolerance value, flatness value must be less than the dimensional tolerance value. So after manufacturing, we may end up with a part like this. Now, if you join all the peaks and if you join all the valleys, the height difference should not be more than 0 0.1 which is the flatness control. One thing what you have to uh, notice here is you may also end up with a taper surface as similar to the straightness what we discussed. can have a surface like this also. So this side it can be 24.9, this side it can be 25.1. But this peak to valley, you join all the valleys, join all the peaks, this should not be more than 0.1. If this condition is satisfied, then the surface is considered to be flat. Flatness is a three-dimensional entity and the tolerance zone is two parallel planes. Okay, now we will see how to apply flatness to center plane. So the leader leg of the feature control frame should be exactly in line with the dimension. Put the flatness. One. Okay, here what does that mean is after manufacturing we may end up with a part having a shape like this. The center plane itself is not flat. Now if you take the Tolerance zone which is two parallel planes which are 0.1 mm apart the center plane of the actual part must lie within this two parallel planes this is controlling flatness of center plane this was added from ASME 2009 only Y14.5 2009 only previously it was not available since we are applying flatness to a feature of size here also we can apply material condition modifiers, either maximum material condition modifier or least material condition modifier. So what does this tell us? Only when the part is produced at 50.1, the flatness error allowed is 0.1. And when the uh, part is produced at 49.9, then we get a bonus tolerance of 0.2. So the flatness error will become 0.3. This is about controlling flatness for a planar surface that is a feature control and a feature of size that is a center plane.